here. But uh, anyway, it uh, depends on your right hand or left hand. You prefer your desk, prefer left hand working from this way, or some student right hand, you work prefer this way, it's up to you. Okay, here's no prefer, I'm left hand, on oh, right hand, so I prefer move like that. If any student left right hand, you prefer your two square, move from right side, it's okay, totally it's up to you. Okay, yeah. So anyway, this one, make sure this line, barely you can see this line, make sure this paper align with this one. Align with here. Make sure this sheet brace the paper or or not brace the paper or any uh, really heavy paper. Uh, that's uh, that's not real final. Okay. My layout. See, this is you can use mine, this sheet. Yeah. See? The yellow color, that's the choice this step. Anyway, I, I, I'm not suggesting you use this one for this one. Because this paper to weak. Okay, not good. You should choose a little bit stronger paper. This one. Okay, stronger paper. Stronger paper. Okay, so roughly your layout. Okay, so you consider text. Okay, the final, your logo. You can put your logo uh, top or bottom. It doesn't matter. So right now, I want to put my logo roughly from top or from bottom. Okay. I changed my mind. I put on the button. Okay. Still okay. Yeah, so now so this 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 paper I'm gonna use uh so this time I use a uh, I use I use a red color. That's not final, okay. So roughly and then I use a uh, scale and roughly so this is 80 by 24 inch. I'm going to give it uh, uh, So this one, roughly. You decide the shoe size. I give it, uh, so here 12. 12, roughly. So this paper, make sure, uh, typically I cannot uh, touch uh, Typical, this 18 by 24 inch, uh, do not uh, touch uh, at least the one inch, do not touch that. I don't want to make my edge until one inch. So I make border, okay. This is why I tell you, in case, in case if I, I give you one inch space, I give you one inch, in case uh, uh, you, you take a phone picture, doesn't matter if you use a scanner. After scan, okay. Even you write on eighty five twenty four, okay. Scan, after scan, we maybe you print eighty five twenty four. The printer cannot print from edge to edge, okay. Always missing, missing the maybe quarter inch, maybe half inch. So I give it one inch for safety. So typically, I've not touched the one inch from border, okay. I can draw everything inside one inch, okay. So now. Like this, okay. So now I use a, I use a ruler. So this one ruler, you can use this one T square. Okay, see that I switch to this side. 
Okay, switch to this side. Perfect. Okay. Here. Okay. Perfect. Oops. See from corner, you can see red line, right? Okay, red line. So because uh, the eventually for final sheet, I'm going to use a black white. They just use a black use a pencil black white ink, but in this case, I can use a color pencil. Okay, and also this. Okay, here one inch, one inch. Okay. Uh, this is one inch. Okay, perfect. See, I got a border. So this part, this part, no touch. I make an X, so I know no touch here. I know that's include the include the drafting, include the freehand drawing. Okay, include the background roughly one, two, three, four, roughly. Okay, one, two, three, four. Okay, so roughly one, two, three, four. So this one, I can, I can do this. Uh, I can use a t I can use this one or this one roughly. I can use this one. So I can use tape, tape ruler. Roughly. I bring a needle. Twenty two. Twenty four. Twenty four. Twelve. That's a roughly 14. In fact, this one I'm not seeing 100% needle. You switch up a little bit, switch down a little bit, doesn't matter. Okay, so roughly 14, 7, roughly 7, 7, 7 here. This is middle. Okay, this is middle. This one. 7. So this is my, uh, the, this is a free hand. This is, I did it. I did, uh, I did it here, last class. Okay, I did it here, last class, right? I did it, okay. I did it, and also this part, which is actually my, my, what's it called? Real drafting, drafting, I use ruler. This is, uh, this part, which is my uh, diagram. Okay, I said uh, this diagram, I'm going to make a horizontal, so I shift this to right, so this part could be, you don't have to 100% make this is the uh, exact same size. You don't have to, okay, so this one like this, this one I try to a little bit more space until here, okay, that's fine. And uh, this part is diagram, diagram here, one, the rock the one, two, take a look at, one, two, three, okay. And the text, don't forget, that. I'm going to write on text, diagram. So this part is drafting. Okay, perfect. Okay, so now, <coughs> so this is, a, this is a three drawing. I can, so this step, if you stay at home, for me right now, I can, I can keep working more. One, two, three. So I'm done with this one. I'm done with this one. I don't have to repeat this one. Yeah, I can. For example, like this sheet, I can trim it. Tape on here. Tape, I'm done. Take a look at that. I'm done this one. I'm going to use a scissor. Oh, no, no, I, I need to trace that anyway, okay? I need to trace it, make it, make it better, right? I, I trim a little bit. If you're comfortable this size, that's fine. comfortable with that okay so because that's a freehand that's a freehand roughly roughly I still use this roughly 
Okay, take a look at it. I'm done with this one. I hope you're comfortable, okay? This one here? Okay, perfect. Then, I'm gonna take that. I don't have to work in this one again. I just uh, final, refine the line, make it uh, looking better. Okay. Only this one I need to redraw that. I need to draw that. So right now I roughly I get a size here, here, here. I get this sheet. Okay. So this is diagram. I I I already gave it a roughly size. I'm going to keep working later. Okay. So I'm going to this sheet on the top. So this suppose the same size. Oh, this is a, this, my sheet. This is nineteen by twenty-four. This is a eighteen by twenty-four. Doesn't matter. Nineteen twenty-four. Let me double check this one. This this sheet is eighteen by nineteen by twenty-four. This doesn't matter. Okay, let me see. This is uh, nineteen twenty-four. Okay, uh, that's correct. That's a uh, go here. This is a. Uh, this is nineteen by twenty-four. Bristol paper. This one. This is uh, eighteen by twenty-four. Doesn't matter. Okay. Yeah. Because my final sheet slightly bigger than. Bigger than that. Okay. That's not big deal. Okay. I tape on this tape or the back you still get tape. This is because after you remove, make sure that you might remove from this sheet and this this sheet stack together. Make sense? Okay. So this one I can I can tape down the tape area. Okay. Tape area. Okay. That's fine. Okay, so now this sheet, this sheet is this sheet which is just the final sheet. Okay, take a look at. Okay, hold, hold here. Do not hold it like this. Okay, you can hold it between, between that, then very gentle. Rotate, very gentle. Okay, very gentle. Okay, perfect. Keep working more. Okay. And always prepare the brush. Okay, never directly touch your paper. Never directly touch your paper. Always use a brush. Okay, always use a brush. I get an overall. So the first step, I can work in this side. Okay, this side. I said uh, I'm not going to back check the exact dimension. Okay, just keep proportions. Keep proportion. Make this one look like that. Okay, yeah, look like that. Where's my <laughs> Let the leather holder, okay. So now, before I add a bold line, I need to work in for the, working for the uh, front view. You can you work in front of you, this view or this view. Either side. I do say working this view, 
at first. Okay, this view at first. So this view, I go get an overall. I go get an overall. I go get an overall. So now I'm going to use this one. Use the ruler. Okay. This is a four edge. Make sure four edge. Make it a little longer. Okay. Then vertical. Vertical. I have a guideline, it's hard read, it's hard read. So right now I can use a one piece of paper, be white paper behind. Okay. I got a one 11 by 17 copy paper. I'm gonna put this copy paper behind. I can actually start working now. Okay, well, this is a copy paper. Oops, I should have put it between that. See? Yeah. This is my actual drawing. See that? You can see different. See that? Okay, this is my actual drawing. I got a guideline. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. Perfect. I'm gonna working here. Okay. For technical. Technical. Uh. Sorry, you cannot see that. I'm gonna talk to you later. Rotate, rotate your pencil, pen. Move your line. If you use pencil, you can rotate at the same time. Rotate, stop. Rotate it, so we can easy to see. Dot to dot, dot to dot. This architectural drawing. You cannot working like this. No fade, okay. For actual drawing, star fade. Okay, that's not all wrong. You have the star perfect. Then keep working. Stop. Okay, we can see dot dot star and series star end. And also, if you have a if you get a vertical line, typical. If we want to make shape like this shape, typical, you have to across a little bit from end, okay, then from here, okay, start to end, then horizontal line, star, move it, and stop here. So this is called we across edge, cross edge. I tell you why, no fade. Uh, for actual. So right now you use a computer, right? Everybody use a computer. Computer is perfect, okay? Computer is perfect, but unfortunately for builder, they try to use your plan, they try to use your drafting to build something. Maybe in work site is very dirty. It's really dirty. They, they are not bring laptop. They are, bring, not bring, they, they are gonna use paint works, paperwork, okay? So the paperwork, they are going to 
use they are going to use eyeball or they are going to use a scale i'm going to teach you a scale they are going to measure that from they are measured okay how far from here to here but if you fail you got trouble to where see that they cannot read they cannot read so you have the series for your works you have a series from stop to end okay then i said this cross line if you make your drawing like this you make a builder get trouble see that the builder they have a trouble to measure that they have trouble to measure okay so so typical, you have the very serious. So you you can cross a little bit. They can use the measure from point to point. Okay. Yeah. So your drafting, okay. You are going to send your drafting to builder. Builder actually will use your plan, use your drafting to build anything. Make sure make sense. Okay. Not every time you write down text. That this is a. Five for the six. This is six for the five. Not every time. So they are going to measure that. Okay. So architecture drawing, cross a little bit. Okay. This is why if you make the cube, I make a three D cube. I require that you make a three D cube like this. See, across a little bit. Okay. Don't make it like this. Okay, if you make it like this, only thing your corner, which is round shape or circle shape, it's okay. You make it like that. Make sense? Okay, you need a cross line, very serious. Slot, move it, and okay, yeah. So anyway, uh, this is a hint. Next step, I'm gonna keep working this one. Keep working this one. Uh, and also, I, I make one step. Yeah, okay. So it's not required. It's that size. Okay, roughly. Maybe roughly maybe this thing. Roughly this one. Okay. See, roughly this this shape. Okay, roughly this shape. So roughly this shape, I need to find a center point. Center point, okay, so, so how can I do that? So this time I can use uh, uh, this one. Uh, compass. Compass. Uh, compass. I need to make sure this is same size. Take a look at. I use a compass. Here, size like this. Okay. Here. Then this side. Same size. Take a look at compass. Then we're working for vertical line. This one. This is the front. Working all the way up, and also from here, I can keep working this line all the way to to this view. To this view. Then I get this shape here. This shape, I actually take a look at this circle. Take a look at this circle. This circle, I can use a compass. <coughs> I need a circle template. Required a circle template. I put it here. Oh, this one. This piece. Okay. So take a look at this piece. This one is here. So this is why cross line here, cross line. I can work in that. See that circle? So I can I can finish this circle. This is full. You can see here is a full circle. This is a full edge. Full edge. Later I'm going to use edge, or 
to be to refine the line. Okay, for which the this circle, this circle here, okay. Uh, this circle actually is same size from here, same size. Okay, but anyway, let me keep working. Now I got this shape here, and uh, this circle, okay, this circle you can consider same size with here. Same size, you can see this same size circle. Okay, same size. So which means. So from here, so here I can I can do the same size here to here. So here center center line. Center line. Take all right, this one is this size, same to here, and the same 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 size here. Okay, same size here. And also flip another side. Here I flip this side. This line I just consider the center. This is symmetry shape. Symmetry is center line. Okay, center line. Then I can mistake this line. I can use the eraser. I can use the eraser. So this is a 4 H. So this is a 4H, I can erase everything, 4H. Make sure to not use your finger, okay? Swap. Okay, swap. Then, I, I can have to use uh, this one, circle template. Circle template. Okay. Perfect. Then, just give me the circle. So you can see right now. Okay, it's like a good template. Then I can find it from here, top view. Here, here. Okay. So here top view, here front view. And uh, this thi this is side view, this is front, this is side, okay, side view. Side this side view, Sam size from here. Okay, from vertical. Take a look at Then I use a circle template. This view, okay. I use a circle template. Like this. Perfect. So, take a look at this side. This is the side of you. Then I make a vertical line. Surface surface joint. Okay. Okay. Take a look at here, here. Then I make more detail. I make this shape. This shape. Here's another circle. Take a look at here's another circle. So if I want to find the top from this part, best view from this view. Okay, so I work in same time. Front view, top view, side view, best to find this one. This is the same center point. Same center point from here. Okay, so roughly. Roughly. Yeah, yeah, I can, I can do this. Roughly. Okay, here. Okay. I can make this a little bit longer. Okay, roughly until here. I can use circle template. You can take a look at before this circle, another circle I can match. I try to find one circle templates to match that. What do you think of this one? This one's fine. I said I'm not go back check 100% match. Okay. So roughly maybe. Circle 
simple see here yeah. okay I got this shape take a look I use this circle template this template okay this template I can transfer this template to here to top and measure my markdown same same template same size take a look at okay and this one same same or this one I don't have to this this piece from this view I can transfer from here make a guideline to this top okay then this one down this line okay this part down perfect see this view this view here okay this view until here then thickness this one thickness roughly roughly here 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 roughly okay You need a match top view. Okay, this is a front view. <coughs> match here, match. Okay, then uh, where I find it? Yeah, this one you can see match. Then this is a, this shape, this shape here, this shape here, roughly until. So this one until here, okay. So this one until here, I don't have, I don't think that I need, a, I don't think that I need to make a curve shape. I can modify and make a simple to that. Then I can make a diagonal line, just a diagonal line. Connect point to point, okay. That's no problem. So connect here to here. Okay, see, I get a front view, this view. Then more detail. I'm gonna add this detail, this detail here. This detail, which is uh, I can working from, I can working from front view. So roughly. Center point here. Okay. Then now I make a guideline. Then this piece. This piece until here. So roughly until here. Okay. This one, I make a symmetry, I make a guideline, symmetry. Take a look at here, here. So we've got another side here, here. Okay, then make this, this line, diagonal line, from here to here. Then I need to make sure this is the same size. Measure. I said a compass. I'm not making the circle. I use compass for measurement. Okay.
okay, almost. And uh, here's a one shape, and also another shape. The here's another corner. There's another small circle you can see. Here's a, here's another small circle, unlike this one. Unlike this, okay, unlike this, I can use I can use a circle template. Circle template. Which one? Let me see. Just to match that. Just to match that. So now, take a look at everything I use. Uh, so this is a 4H, 4H everything, okay. A little bit more, uh, <coughs> the bottom line, I maybe just make a double line. Bottom double line. <coughs> take a look at, this is a detail here. Little bit edge. See that? The button here, little bit edge. Yeah, this is a detail, little bit detail. Okay. So now I'll take a look at this circle template. This circle template. Okay. 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 Circle to me. So if you choose this shape, you have to use a circle template. Okay. If you choose this object, okay. If you are not to choose this one, you don't have to use circle template. Maybe your select object may be linear shape. Maybe circle temp you have to use circle template. If you have a circle template, you have to use circle template. get an overall. After I get an overall, it is very important. I include the fold line. Okay, fold line. So this is a 4H. Okay, 4H. Next step, I'm going to use bold line. Out overall outline. This is for in fact overall outline I can use uh, Anyway, you can use a you can use B. I'm going to use a four B for for overall shape for outline. 
Okay, typical for outline, I'm going to use a Foby. Foby. Typical that Foby. So first I prefer using here, here. template Template is wichtig. A little bit of detail. I got a fine line, so right now it's really much better. Okay, I got a bold line. Okay, I got a bold line much better, really. I suppose it's for me, it's for me. Yeah, more detail. And also, I use a, go back to use a for me, I use a for HP4. I can use B to add a, so right now is a, 
uh, everything is a for uh, edge. Okay, for edge. I can apply more detail for here. Right line. Okay, see, you can see this is really better. But uh, this one circle, I'm not going back to add that. That just keep for edge. Okay, keep for edge. Just C line, this one. Okay. And this part. This one leaves with a curve shape. Okay, from top view. So I need this big template. Big circle template. Okay, this is a curve shape. Simulate that. You can see I got this drawing. This is a front view, uh, top view, side view. Okay, so this is exactly I use a, uh, I use a, a ruler, make straight line. Anyway, this is still come with detail. You, if you want, you can add. I didn't add that detail. If you want to add detail, I just add a little bit detail on this one here. You can add details. Right now here. But make sure that's match. Match here. from this view we cannot see that but from this view we can see 